Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us. Security has become a big business in America in the wake of the September terror attacks. But how good is all this enhanced security we hear so much about? Take a look at what happened during last week's Oscars. Steve Noble reports on how easy it was for at least one group to go right past a security checkpoint. It was supposed to be the tightest security the Oscars have ever seen. Cops were everywhere, streets were closed, even the FBI was on alert. But that didn't stop this 57 Chevy limo from driving right up to the Oscar red carpet. If somebody were seriously planning a terrorist act, they would have had no problem doing it. He goes by the name Stretch, and along with two of his buddies, Frank and Scooby, they wanted to get some footage of the Oscars for a public access cable TV show. But what started as a prank ended up exposing what they say was a huge breach in Oscar security. I can't believe us. Look at all the cops. <laughs> he cut through that security like hot knife through butter. They might ask you for ID. They breezed through two police checkpoints. Although their vehicle was checked for explosives, they were never asked for photo ID. It was totally smooth sailing. This unlikely trio couldn't believe how easy it was to find an apparent hole in Oscar security. Our credentials were bogus. They showed us this limousine pass, which they say allowed them through security checkpoints. Our authority to pass through the most secure place in Hollywood on the night of the Oscars. So how did they get this pass? Well, they told us another driver let them copy his at this copy shop not far from the Kodak Theater. It's really not even the right color, but apparently it worked. The rest was easy. They say their limo was waved through all the way to the red carpet where some of Hollywood's biggest stars were arriving. But none of these would-be Oscar crashers ever set foot on the red carpet. You needed another credential for that. They held us for about a minute to see if we had a celebrity, in which we didn't. They told us to go ahead and pass on through. So they drove off without incident, but with plenty of questions about security. The LAPD told us there was no security breach because they never entered a secure area. If we were kamikaze, we would have definitely uh, just blown the Oscars out of the water. We got no answer from the Motion Picture Academy to our repeated calls for comment.